power. It's made significant progress towards fulfilling its nuclear ambitions, in particular towards the development of an intercontinental ballistic missile with a nuclear capacity capable of reaching the United States. Pyongyang is widely believed to already possess enough fissile material for more than a dozen nuclear weapons. It's carried out several increasingly powerful nuclear tests since 2006. In September 2017, Pyongyang claims to have detonated a hydrogen bomb far more powerful than the fission-based devices it's previously tested and small enough to fit onto a missile. The sixth nuclear test came just a week after North Korea fired a ballistic missile over Japan into the Pacific. In July 2017, Pyongyang test-fired two intercontinental ballistic missiles, allegedly its longest range to date, marking a new phase in its weapons program. North Korea has been building its own missiles for more than three decades. In 1984, it tested a type of Soviet Skull B with a 300km range. It later built the Rodong-1 with a range of up to 1,300km, and then in 1998, its Taipodong-1 missile flew over Japan, landing in the Pacific Ocean. Having observed a moratorium for more than five years, Pyongyang carried out several failed long-range missile tests in 2006, including launching a Taipodong-2, believed to be capable of reaching Alaska. After further unsuccessful tests, in December 2012, North Korea successfully fired an Unha-3 rocket with a range of six to 9,000 kilometers to put a satellite in orbit.